Welcome to Daddy's Kitchen, everybody. First and foremost, at the end of my video will be a list of all my ingredients on my cutting board. If you like more detailed instructions, have it on my YouTube channel. There's a link on my bio. What am I making today? Well, it's cold outside, it's rainy. I want something warm and tasty. I'm gonna go with banana bread with walnuts. Why? Cause it's yummy. It's yummy, it's not that difficult to make and the end product just hits the spot every single time. What do you need? First and foremost, you're gonna use some flour. You're gonna use some sugar. Obviously, we're gonna use some bananas. A Little bit of vanilla cause you put it in everything. I've got some softened butter. I've got myself some salt. I got myself some baking soda. I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon and four teaspoons of brown sugar that I mix up beautifully to cover my bread pan with. And we're gonna use a couple eggs. So first step is I've gotta mix my dry ingredients. So I've got my flour, I'm gonna toss in my salt, I'm gonna toss in my baking soda, and then just gonna stir it a little bit. Perfect. Now I get the chance to use my sifter. Sift away. It makes a big difference when you use a sifter. I highly recommend it. Looks so nice and light, doesn't it? Perfect. Okay, I'm getting ready to mix my butter with my sugar, but before that I take my two eggs and I like to mix them up a little bit. I've always done that, it's just something I do. I don't know why, I just, it's just a me thing. Now let's go ahead and mix our sugar with our butter. We're take our butter and our sugar, and we're gonna mix away. When it comes to the butter and sugar mix, that's what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna put my eggs, my bananas, and the secret ingredient, sour cream, yay! I throw in a half cup of sour cream. And of course, the vanilla. You gotta have the vanilla. Then we're gonna mix it up. And that's what that looks like. Now I'm gonna add this to my dry mixture. Okay, we're gonna simply fold this in. You see how nice and lovely? The only thing missing now is the walnuts. But I like to do the walnuts, I put a ton of them in a bag, and I just hit them a few times. So you gotta have a sufficient amount of walnuts in your banana nut bread. There's nothing worse than taking a bite of banana nut bread and having no walnuts in it, so. I put a ton of them in there. That's never an issue with mine. And then, add them in. I save a few to put on top. Yummy! Now, to cinnamon, sugar, brown sugar my pan, I take the mixture that I made, and I just sprinkle it on the sides, all the way around. I take my time with it, because you want to make sure every single part of that pan gets cinnamon and brown sugar on it. it makes a tremendous difference on the final product. Because who doesn't like brown sugar and cinnamon? Who? Nobody. <laughs> Voila, brown sugar and cinnamon done. All you gotta do is fold this in. Now that it's panned, all I have to do is put a little few more walnuts up on top. Now, I said this before on some of my videos, every time you open a bag of walnuts, when you're done using what you use, don't put them on a shelf, don't put them in a cabinet, keep them in the fridge. They last forever in the fridge. Well, here's where we are with the banana and the bread. I'm gonna pop, put this in the oven. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. It's gonna go in there for about 55 minutes to an hour. See you soon. Okay, so it actually baked for about an hour. I'm gonna let it sit here for about 10 minutes and cool off before I take it out of the bread pan. Woohoo! I'm slicing my banana bread. I wanna show it to you. Look at that, you see that? That is absolutely perfect. It really doesn't get better than that. But, <laughs> this one I've gotta try. This one I have to taste. Bon Appetit.
It just makes you happy. That's it. It puts a smile on your face. It takes that frown and it turns it upside down. Wow, this is awesome. You gotta try this one out. Homemade banana bread is a classic, something that everybody loves. It's perfect first thing in the morning, a little bit of butter on it. It's great at night before you go to bed with a little bit of tea. Make this one. Please like and follow. Share, share, share my videos with everybody. If you'd like to donate, there's a place to do it on my link. Anything I ever get will go towards or about the creation of yumminess. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Remember, love life one bite at a time.